<laughs> Alright guys, this is your uh, APPS bracket on your Cummins and um, these shafts will get a little loose in these bearings right here. They're just, I don't know, it's just a loose fit and it was causing mine to do this walking movement here like that which was keeping me from setting my sensor so when they uh, try to sell you this piece that's probably the reason why because it's just it walks back and forth and it causes a maladjustment on your sensor well I took it off took it apart and I just grabbed it where the bearings go over the shaft with a pair of pliers and you got to use something that's got some real good grip to it because this shaft is extremely hard but uh, you just grip it and then be careful not to get into your snap ring on because you got two bearings and grip it here real good and this will put a little bit of a raise in your shaft and you'll be able to uh, press it in or it actually it makes it and it works it makes it nice and tight in there so we'll see if I can uh, adjust my sensor let me get all this stuff back together where it's supposed to go let's see if we got a uh, bush that goes on first that's just a spacer probably to hold the spring And it's a tight fit. It will definitely have to be tapped in. But that solved my, I mean, I've got the slightest bit now. It's very, very, I mean, it's tight. So, and it's on a bearing, so you're good there. And of course, I forgot to uh, preload my spring. I'll have to uh, take it back, tap it back out. <laughs> Should have enough room. There. Get it over the. And tap it back in. Oh, you got spring right here. There, you could hear it seat. But yeah, that uh, that that helped my walk out a lot. You can still see the slightest. Yeah, that's tight. That's great. It was causing it to um, move back and forth on my stop which was changing my um, my setting on my sensor in here. I guess it was causing the sensor to move back and forth or something. But I was getting, I couldn't hold the reading. And um, one minute my uh, truck would be idling fine and the next minute it'd be high idling. So, all right, we'll see if that solves the problem. All right, guys, we finished putting the sensor on here and go, uh, set it and uh, we'll come back and see how it does. This is off uh, my 01 3500 Dodge Cummings 24 valve. All right, quick tip. Hopefully it'll help somebody. All right guys, <clears throat> that's what I was talking about. Um, I could grab this and move it from side to side moved it the wrong way there and then pull it outward see I'm only getting like a, a half a variation there before I would go anywhere from like um, you go from 3.8 up to like a 6.1 I mean a 0 0.38 to 0.61 volt so I think my uh, it's a success. 
see if I can get this thing to go all the way to uh, 380. I couldn't get it there last time. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I'm getting a full reading on it. Come back down. Yeah, five, three, five, four, five, 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 four. Yeah. See before I light on with a PO222. So let's see. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the batteries and let the ECM clear for a couple hours and because uh, this thing was getting a high idle reading even at five because it was starting its scale at like a three sometimes so it would throw out a whack and, but that's what we did and that's it works good or it seems to be I'm going to link these two videos together so um, Folks, you really, if your bearings are good in that, your uh, belt crank there, um, it's a lot of times your shaft is probably the play. So I think we're good there. Actually, I've got to give it just a little more, bit more of a nudge. Five five, there we go. And um, yeah, see, so drop five four again. Close enough. <clears throat> Want to understand you're good as long as you're within five, so I'm good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.